With ever-increasing speeds on our wireless access points, we find that one gigabit per second out to the AP may not be cutting it anymore. So in many cases, what we find is that we need to run speeds higher than one gigabit per second across our existing cabling infrastructure. And this is where NBase-T comes in. So in this case, we're gonna take a look at how we can use the DSX Cable Analyzer to test cabling to see if it will support 5G base T plus PoE. So as always, I like to create a new project instead of changing the default project. So I'm gonna go up to the top and tap on project. Then I'm gonna select change project and hit new project. And we'll call this uh, AP upgrade. I'll say done. I'm going to select myself as the operator. And then I'm going to select test setup. Now in this case, we're using CAT5E cable. So I'll select CAT5E UTP. And then for my test limit, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to more. And I'm going to go to application. And we're going to scroll down and right here, we have 5G base T plus 802.3 BT and 2.5G base T plus 802.3 BT. For this one, I'm going to select 5G base T plus 802.3 BT. So this will check the cable to see if we can support 5 gigabits per second and it will run the resistance tests necessary to see if this cable will support 802.3 BT power over ethernet. We're going to leave our store plot data turned on. We're going to leave our HDTDR and TDX set so that they'll run if the cable fails or is a marginal pass. And we can select our outlet configuration. In this case, I'll leave it at T568B. I'll say use selected. I'll hit save. And then I'll come in and we'll come down here. I'm going to delete my default cable ID set. And I'm going to hit new cable, new ID set. And we could set this, we could say uh, NB for NBase, how about NBase T001. Remember, when we set up our cable sequences, we need to make sure that they're the same number of characters. We'll say 24, we'll say done. We're gonna do copper, we'll hit save. So now we have our cable IDs, we have our test set up all ready to go. So now I'm ready to go in and start testing. So I could either hit the home button or I can hit the back button and our 5G base T plus PoE is all ready to go. And we can go in and ensure that that cat 5 e cable we have is going to work for running our higher speeds to support those faster access points.